Hey everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. It is time to continue the collection of molds that I got. I did two last week, and if you saw them, they were these two, the turtle and the starfish. And I thought they came out so, so cute. So today, I am going to work on the dolphin and the seahorse. This one looks a little more intricate and more time consuming, but that's okay. I got one easy one and one a little bit harder. So I'm kind of going to do a little bit of the same thing, but a little bit different. So I'm still gonna use my UV resins, the ones I bought off of Timu. Um, I might be using this Lightwish one, depending on how deep that is. I have a couple of my glitters for the main focus, and I'm going to use Emerald Ocean, which is so beautiful. It's a green and blue mixture. And that's gonna be the dolphin. And then for the seahorse, I'm going to do some Midnight Disco, which is a black holographic uh, medium cut and partial of my mermaid tail, which is mostly blue with a little bit of green. So that's gonna be the body. Now parts of the body I'm going to do after I demold because that's just the way it works, unfortunately. And there's raised sections in here, that's why, which I wish I would have done that on these. If you look at the turtle, parts of his shell were empty and I didn't even think of filling that in. I don't know why, but somebody made a comment about filling them in and I'm like, why didn't I think of that? Of course I should have filled them in. So I'm gonna have to fill those in on here so you can actually see the whole seahorse and not get um, faded out in the distance. Now these I did a crackle background. This time I'm going to do a transparent background. One more, I'm going to do two different ways. One completely transparent and one with like an alcohol drip drop drip drop thing on the back of it. So they'll be different colors but kind of still see through. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get yourself a little tiny tool. This side is my thinnest side and a little cup which I forgot to grab and we're just gonna kind of drip the resin into these little sections and we will UV resin these are all UV resins that I'm using right now I'm trying to get a piece of tape to clean the mold that I just cleaned because now there's glitter on my hands that just went right back into the mold so I want them clean to start with, even though I will be adding glitter, probably not that one in that spot. So yeah, I got glitter all over me from that jar. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's everywhere, you guys. It's shocking that every single one of my projects aren't ruined with a stray thing of glitter, and there's more. So I think I'm gonna start easy. I'm gonna start on the dolphin one, get everything filled in, and cure that one. While that one's curing, I'll be moving on to that one. So for this one, I'm going to start out using Diamond Dust Glitter UV Resin, and this one is called Royal. I'm going to put it in the waves there, but I'm going to not drip it in there because it's a little harder to do it that way. I'm just gonna put it in my little cup here kind of just place it with my dotting tool into the sections because if I squeeze it in which I learned on the last one there's more cleanup to do so just get yourself if you're going to try these I know a ton of you asked where we got I got the molds which I did link in the description so if you want to know where these molds came from you can find it in the description box and give them a try. I mean, these are going to be sun catchers this time, but they could be probably coaster molds or you, or ornaments for your tree. Whatever you want to use them for, just because it has that up there. These Somebody said they bought them, they're advertised as pendants. Um, no, they're definitely not pendants. These are way too big to be a pendant. So I don't know why they said that on their advertisement, but they're not. Let me just zoom in for you a little bit. Hopefully my camera will. I have it on this little 
um, plexiglass sheet that goes right into the UV machine so it can do both sides at the same time. And then I don't have to pick up the mold and kind of ruin the, re the resin that I already have put in. So basically I'm just taking my tool and I'm coloring it in drip by drip. So if you do not have patience, I don't recommend <laughs> trying it this way because this is definitely going to take patience and time. So I will be fast forwarding a lot because I know it'll be redundant. So let's go. So a couple tips when you're doing it this way. If you don't put enough resin in, that's why you saw me going over it more than once, give it a couple minutes to just sit there and relax because it might pull back or you might, if you don't have enough resin in there, it's going to pull back kind of like a fisheye on a tumbler and expose some more silicone. So just let it sit Go back over the sections that need it. I think they're all good right now. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to um, the birds, I think, which I will do a black color. Which one is this? That's my white. I know I have a black somewhere. Let me find it. I can't find my black. Um, I must have misplaced it. I know I'm missing a couple blues too. So I'll use this black holographic glitter. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of my, this is the resin that I use for UV. I'm just gonna pour a little bit on this side because I don't need that much for those birds. And scoop a tiny little bit of glitter For black, give it a good little mix. I can't, I don't understand where, where I put it. I know I'm missing a dark blue one too. Can't be far. I know as soon as the project's over, I'll find it. But this will work just the same. And just do another drop just to make sure it's full. Sometimes if it's not full but it looks like it is, when it's underneath the light it'll shrink back and then you'll just have to fill in those two little gaps or a couple little gaps, whatever you're missing. All right, so let me cure this real quick before I start the dolphin so I don't bump anything. So this is the light that I like to use for molds that can be cured from the bottom. So it's curing from the top and it's curing from the bottom. That is the shelf that I said I had in case you have never seen the light. This one is by Let's Resin and it's got two minutes, three minutes and a five minute button. So I'm just going to do it for the shortest amount of time, just enough to get it in place that it's not going to move. I mean, two minutes is probably more than enough. So soon as that's set, we'll start on the dolphin. So I'm just going to mix up my glitter right now. And same thing, resin in the container. If I have extra, I will just use it to make a pendant or something. I'm going to grab my little tiny spoon. Somebody asked where I got these spoons from, these tiny little, tiny little things. These come in the resin kit. I buy the uh, casting resin with the pump. This is one of the freebies that comes in there. So I don't even know if they offer them without it in there. So that's where I get these tiny little plastic spoons from. 
You gotta be careful though, because they are very thin. I see the light went off over there, so it should be ready to come back in, but I just wanted to show you this beautiful, beautiful glitter. I just love this one. I have a top five, and this is like one of the top two that I try to use every time I can. All right, let's grab this. And we'll start filling in the dolphin. You need to use, use the smallest side you have. I mean, even the big port. I mean, the big portions, I guess I could dump in there, but I didn't have, I had to do more cleaning if I did it that way the other day. So I'm going to stick with my method here. You guys can do whatever method is easiest for you. I'm trying to see in that tail. I think the tail goes all the way. All the way back there. Oh, yeah, obviously it's sticking out. And then when this comes out of the mold, I will probably fill in his indented parts with another, another color. I've got the one under the light curing. I'm just going to start on this one. So uh, since I have some black mixed up, I'm just going to use it on this super duper thin little plant. I think of all the parts on these molds, this plant is the worst. It's very difficult to stay in the lines. That wasn't fun. So I'm just gonna take my little micro brush because it did overspill in some areas. Just grab yourself a paper towel, wipe it off, and clean up inside those areas. Otherwise you will see it. You will definitely see it. So I think I'm going to start off with, let me see what color green this is. That's a light green. We will do a light green for this plant right here. Now these diamond dust ones that I'm using in these little bottles, I just noticed they sell them in a kit now. When I bought them quite a long time ago, I had to buy them individually, so you're getting a much better deal now. Because you get, I think, five in a kit for like five bucks or something. I don't know. I know I paid like two or three dollars a piece. So it's definitely a much better deal these days. Yeah. 
And for this tall plant, I'm going to use the one they call dark green. All right, I popped that under the light for just a couple minutes. So all this is set. And as I was looking at the seahorse, those lines are so tiny that I didn't think a medium cut glitter would work. So I did change the color. I needed a fine one. So I'm using my baby blues for the most of it. And then when it comes out, I'm going to put mermaid tail in the other color. So it's kind of a two-tone seahorse and the bubbles will be left and I'll do those in white. So let me work on those and we will come back and get these backed in some transparent resin. That took a long time, you guys. So if you don't have steady hands and you wanna do it that way, don't do this one. This one was difficult. Look at all those little blocks I had to go around. So everything is cured. I did the bubbles as well. And you can always flip it over, make sure you got everything. This one's done. That one was simple. So I mixed up four ounces of my casting resin. And I'm gonna do it two ways. One of the two, which I haven't decided, I'm gonna do an alcohol drip on the back of it. So it'll still be transparent, but it'll be different colors. And I think I will do the dolphin one. So let me just get this. I used my stir stick, so I'm just gonna drain it in there. Well, I'll drain it in this one. I don't know how much they take, I can't remember. So I'm just going to do this one first. And this one is a little warped from the resin, so I'm gonna have to prop it up. So when the resin pulled back, it no longer sits flat. So this side needs a little bit of help. So pour from eye level so you know when to stop. Okay, that one is good. Take a tool, go around the edge and dislodge any bubbles that might have gotten stuck on that 90 degree angle. Because if you top coat and there's a bubble there, it's going to drip over your edge. I don't see any more, but there was, there was a couple. And then I'll spritz it with alcohol and those popped. For this one, let me see how much that took. <laughs> that took less than an ounce. So I will have extra resin, obviously. This one, let's see, I didn't even pick my blue color. I've got my resin already. 
For this one, I'm going to use my Let's Resin Blue. And I'm also going to put in some Seriously Shimmery because this has blues and greens in there. Since this only took an ounce, I'm going to only mix an ounce so I can use the resin for something else. It should be about, well, doesn't matter if I have leftover. So I'm gonna keep it transparent and then we'll drop some alcohol inks into this one and see what happens. And that one's done. It'll definitely be able to be a sun catcher today. I know the last ones I did. Obviously, we're not going to catch the sun. But the crackle effect I wanted kind of to be like when you're underwater and you're looking at the surface. I don't know if you guys scuba dive, but I do. I did. I haven't for a while. But when you're looking up at the surface from underneath the water, you can see all those sparkly, crackly waves I guess you would call it let's see yep that looks good now a little bit of shimmer and we'll pour this one in this will be so pretty And again, get your bubbles dislodged after. That was the perfect amount. And then spray with alcohol. You really want them clear. You don't want, I mean, yeah, it's sea life and bubbles I get is fine. But if you can get them out, I would get them out. There's something floating in there. All right, so for this one, I'm just going to take my four colors. This one is the blue that I used in there. I'm just going to kind of drip Cerulean This one is Azure and Turquoise I'm just going to fill all the spots in because they will, they will like shrink up a little bit. I did pull out some whites as well. My pinata, I ran out of the white. I didn't want sinker white, but... I'm gonna see what it does with a drip in there. I don't know if I should do it or not. Well, too late. All right, so. Maybe I'll drip some blues back on top. Just playing around with it and see what I can get. 
trying to cover the clear. I want it to come out now. Let's see. I'm not going to spray that with alcohol at this point because that is alcohol. All right, um, I'm just going to let it cure. I'm not going to move anything because they're filled to the rim and my heat mat is underneath this, but this plexiglass will bow. So I'm not going to turn that on. I'll find something to do with the resin and I'll show you everything as soon as they're cured. Are you ready to see the results? Here's the backs. Didn't change much, but here's the extras. A pair of earrings. Beautiful little sparkle. I wish my camera would focus. I am not happy with this new phone. Another set of earrings with the baby blues. And pendant with the green. I used the leftover green uh, UV resin and I put a mermaid in the center. And then this one was... Um, I can't remember which of the two glitters it was, but that's got the mermaid tail. So those were the extras from the UV resin. Let's start with this one. We will be filling in the rest of the seahorse, I think. We'll see what it looks like. Pretty. I don't know if I want to fill in the rest of the seahorse, honestly. What do you think? Should I do it? I'm going to have to think about it. But it's nice. Uh, I will have the top coat to get the glitter to shine because these molds are dull everywhere that the inlay is not. So they are going to come out dull until you top coat them. That's just the way they are. So let's see what this one looks like. It's coming out of the mold pretty good. Really cool. Um, again, it's dull, so I can't see my colors behind there. There is a little lip on that, but I did go over the lip the last time. Let me think about what I'm going to do with the animals for a second. I'll be right back. I have decided not to fill in these holes. These holes are so small and I think it's just gonna make a big mess trying to fill it in with another color. So I'm happy that I know it's a seahorse just by looking at it like that and the dolphin. So I'm just gonna top coat it. I used my four hour fast cure for the top coat because it's high viscosity and it shouldn't go over the sides. Now that I'm looking at this, I see a bubble that got there. So I do need to tape up this little bubble here so it doesn't go over the side. I do prop it up on a cup in case it drips over. It's not going to adhere to my surface. I just want to see if there's any bubbles on this one. There is not. So I'm going to get a piece of tape. Make sure you tape your bubbles or the resin is just going to run right out of that bubble and drip all down your coaster and empty it if you don't tape it up. So just go on the very edge of it and you can take the tape off when it's cured. I'm just going to fold it down underneath so the tape doesn't get off for some reason. All right, now I'm just gonna pour it on. I mixed up about an ounce, but definitely not gonna need that much. And this has a lot of bubbles in it, so I do have to get all the bubbles out. So you really won't see the clarity until I get all these bubbles out of here. And it's like a 3D, so you gotta kinda scrape it over everything. It'll be no longer be 3D once it's covered but it, it should come to life once you put the top coat back on and get that dull finish off. I know the other ones came back to life. 
And after these two, I have three more left in the set to do. So I will get to them. I think one is an octopus and I don't remember what they all were. A crab, an octopus, oh, and a shark. That's what I have left. So a crab, an octopus, and a shark. The octopus one looks difficult. The shark one looks pretty easy. The crab one doesn't look too bad, but that octopus one might be a little harder. Okay, so as the bubbles rise to the surface, just keep popping them and it'll get clearer and clearer as they get popped. Because this resin, like I said, it's very thick and it, it gets a lot of bubbles in it when you stir it. Fill in all the holes. Because like I said, this is like a 3D, so there are dips in there. That one looks pretty good. I think they look, both look pretty good. I'm just gonna keep torching them. Let them cure till tomorrow. Get any bubbles that are sticking out. They're sticking to the sides here. Pop those. And we'll see the finished product tomorrow, guys. They are done. Now, I do want to say I forgot to put my shimmer in the top coat that I wanted to. So what I did after they were sitting for a little while, I just sprinkled it on the top and just kind of worked it on the inside. But um, I like the back better on the back. You can't really see that reaction through the front. Um, so I don't know. I don't know that I would do that again. But it's not too bad. It's a little clear around the edges, though. But you could see uh, the birds and the dolphin. And I think next time, too, I might do something inside these waves instead of just the clear, making make them a different color or something. So those are the changes I would do on that one, but this one came out pretty. I don't know that I would change anything on this one. You can see the sparkle. The... So I like it transparent like this much better. So let me know what you think of season two of the Sea Life uh, Sun Catchers. And season three should be coming soon. All right, you guys, I will get you a couple pictures. Stick around for those. I will see you tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Bye.